Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. This is something that I have been working on for well over a month. The entire month of March, plus some of February, has been dedicated to making this video. So I am so excited that it's finally here. One of the most frequent comments I get on my channel is people saying that they wish that they had an eye for thrifting or for decorating, or they just wish that they knew how to thrift certain items because they don't know what would look good. So I had the idea to make a video showing you how you can easily refinish a space by using some kind of inspiration, whether that be on Pinterest or maybe Instagram. But I decided this video to be a lot more fun if I could show you exactly how to do it rather than just try to explain it. So a little over a month ago, I sold and donated every single thing in my living room and started from scratch. My goal was to do this living room as cheaply as possible because I wanted to show you guys that regardless of your budget, you can design your space exactly how you want just by following a few of these tips that I'm gonna share with you. So in total, I spent $467 on the entire living room and that includes two couches, a decorative chair, a hutch, a coffee table, an end table, a rug, decorations, all new pillows, all new throws, everything. Total was $467. And I thought it was pretty funny because the last furniture set that I had in there, just the ottoman was $400. So I was pretty impressed when I totaled everything up and saw I came in under $500 for this entire living room. I first wanted to ask you guys, how many of you have ever been scrolling on Instagram or maybe Pinterest and these certain styles always pop out at you? They always catch your attention and you think that's your style, but then you look at your living room or maybe your bedroom and it looks nothing like this. This has been a problem for me for so many years. I always found myself at stores like Hobby Lobby or some other store where they have decorations and I'd buy stuff and then I'd bring it home and it was just kind of blah. It just wasn't, I thought it was my style when I bought it and then I bring it home and it just like didn't go, it just didn't look exactly how I was hoping that it would. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is find a few photos of inspiration. I would suggest finding three to four photos of the room or the kind of room that you want to revamp. So if it's a bedroom, then find a few bedrooms, maybe it's on Instagram or Pinterest, and if that bedroom really pops out at you, if you love everything about it, save that. And I say three to four because unless you wanna copy exactly that room, then you're probably going to wanna pull some inspiration from a few different photos. I'm gonna share with you guys right now a few of the photos that I use for my room just so I can show you exactly how I did this. Now your first step is to look at these photos and ask yourself, what is it about this space that you love? I have one of my inspiration photos right here and I just wanna share with you guys some of the things that really caught my attention and what I was on the hunt for when I was thrifting for my living room. Okay, so first I love the neutral colors. That was something that I loved and we kind of already have that going on in our living room. I love that wooden box or crate, whatever that is. I thought it was very unique that instead of a coffee table there, she has some kind of like wooden box and I really love that. I love the chair, I love that with the neutral color couches. I also really loved the throws and the big fluffy pillows. I felt that just kind of made the whole room look really, really cozy. And I also really loved the wooden accents, like those raw wood accents. So based off of that, when you write those things down of what caught your attention, what was it that you loved about these different spaces, your next step is to make a list of all of the things you are going to be looking for when you're out thrifting, maybe you're looking on Facebook Marketplace, wherever you go, even if it's at a traditional store, now you kind of know what you're looking for to revamp your space to fit your style. Okay, so for example, I wanna share kind of what I did. Now, 
starting with that little wooden box. I went on Facebook Marketplace and I was scrolling, looking for some kind of wooden crate and I could not find anything. But while I was scrolling, this old trunk popped up and I thought, okay, if I could find like a wooden trunk or like a really old vintage trunk, that might look really cool in the space. So I typed in vintage trunk and this popped up immediately. This girl had only posted it five minutes before and thank goodness I was the first one to hop on and see. So I messaged her and I ended up buying this trunk that same day for just 35 bucks and it's such a huge trunk and I feel like this really makes the room. I love it. This is probably my favorite piece in the entire room. All right, now when it came to finding couches, I love these ones from Ikea. I had already known about them. I love the look of them, but what I love the most about them is that it has a loose covering on it. So I was like, it's not necessarily the couch that I love. I love the way it just looks with that covering. So then I thought maybe I could find a really nice sofa cover that I could put over any kind of couch and then really I could get whatever couch I want. I did a little search on Amazon and I found these Serta sofa covers. Now when I first ordered them, they only showed this color option and that's the exact color that I was looking for. So I ordered them. When they shipped here, they were pure white. I was trying to love them, but I really it just wasn't what I was wanting or going for. So I ended up shipping them back and I found the correct color I had to do a few different searches and they are the color neutral so if you're looking for these specific Serta covers I will try to have some linked below but just search Serta sofa covers and you should be able to find them and that's the color is the neutral color because they come in a few different colors now as far as the sofas go I found this love seat for just 10 bucks and then I found the sofa for 15 I mean it's really hard for me to believe that these sofas were $25 together. Obviously the covers were a little bit more expensive, but I felt like that was worth it to me to spend more on the covers because that's obviously what you're going to be seeing anyway. Something else I love about the idea of these covers though is if they do get dirty or dingy, which they probably will because I have a couple of children, I can just throw them in the wash and I just feel like that's really, really convenient for us. So. The next thing I was looking for was this chair and this took about three weeks of me searching diligently on Facebook Marketplace and going to our thrift store almost daily. Um, so when I found it, I was looking for like an olive green color and it was perfect. Like this is the perfect chair and what I was looking for. Honestly, you guys, I feel like the biggest tip I could give you is just be patient. This did take about 40 days of me um, hunting for things just so that I could find them as affordable as possible and so that I could thrift as much of this as possible. Obviously, if you're going to just walk into a furniture store, you could pick out whatever you wanted, but if you're wanting to save some money or if you're on a really tight budget, it's worth it for you to just wait it out and really do your online searching and visit the thrift store as often as you can. There were some days I went twice a day and one of those times I found this hutch and I got this for just $15. And then I also found this little end table for $15 as well. So that was a really good day for me. I went earlier that day, none of that was there. I went back later and both of these items were there for just $30 total. And I feel like those were the two wooden accents that I was looking for. A tip I wanted to share with you is if you already have some throw pillows that are just maybe looking a little bit dingy, you can easily just take the covers off and order some new ones on Amazon. Lots of these pillows you're seeing here in my room, I was able to buy two of these pillow covers for anywhere between $10 and $15. And again, you are getting two covers for that price. Whereas most of the time, throw pillows are anywhere between $30 and $40. All right, I wanted to share with you guys some of the pillows that I did buy brand new. These were from at home. I was looking for really big fluffy pillows because I just love the look of them on the sofa. So I found these pillows, they're huge, they're so big. And At Home was having a special uh, BOGO. So you got you bought one and you got one half off. And these ones were just $24.99 anyway. I felt like that was a big steal. So I was able to get some of these, these for half price. And I just felt like I couldn't beat that price for the size and just like the fluffiness of them. Um, and then I wanted to compare that because I bought this a while ago from Target. Okay, this is just like a very like, flat dingy pillow and this was the same price so i feel like at at home that's such an awkward thing to say at at home um they do have some really good deals on big large pillows so even if they're not bogo i still would suggest that if you're looking for like really big fluffy pillows again i will have these ones linked 
and they might still be on sale when I post this. I know that they do run specials with pillows quite often, so just keep your eye out, but you guys can order these if this is something that you're wanting. The last thing that I felt would really tie this room all in together was this area rug, and I had been looking so diligently on Facebook Marketplace, um, and I really couldn't find a rug. Like, even used rugs were $100, and they had stains all over them. So. I went at home because I knew that they had a huge selection of rugs and I was crossing my fingers that I would find something that would be the style I was going for and lo and behold I found this beautiful rug for just $79 and it was not on sale that's just how much it was. So a couple of the new things that I bought was this rug, a few of these pillows and of course the covers for the couches but everything else was thrifted and again totaling it came linked and they might still be on sale when I post this I know that they do run specials with pillows quite often so just keep your eye out but you guys can order these if this is something that you're wanting the last thing that I felt would really tie this room all in together was this area rug and I had been looking so diligently on Facebook marketplace um, and I really couldn't find a rug like even used rugs were a hundred dollars and they had stains all over them so I went at home because I knew that they had a huge selection of rugs and I was crossing my fingers that I would find something that would be the style I was going for and lo and behold I found this beautiful rug for just $79 and it was not on sale that's just how much it was so a couple of the new things that I bought was this rug a few of these pillows and of course the covers for the couches but everything else was thrifted and again totaling it came linked and they might